ஹா கைஸ் ஃபைனல்லி த வெயிட்டிங் இஸ் ஓவர் ஓகே ஸோ யுவர் டி டே இஸ் ஃபிக்ஸ் தட் இஸ் யுவர் மார்ச் ஃபஸ்ட் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ யுவர் நீட் எம்டிஎஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ வில் பி ஃபினிஷ்ட் அண்ட் யுவர் ரிசல்ட் வில் பி அவுட் ஆன் மார்ச் தேர்ட்டி ஃபஸ்ட் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ so now in this video i'll be talking about the plan for the last 50 days okay and this video is for only a particular group of people so i'm going to tell you so only the such category of people please do go through this video first of all people who are good with the preparation people who are dealing with the gts people who are scoring well people who are attending the classes regularly and preparing at their core this video is not for you please you can immediately exit the video and you can go with a regular pattern of preparation okay uh, uh, that is being given by your mentors or by by the team by the coaching team or anything okay but people who are about to start the preparation okay once the notification out you have a plan to start the preparation or so if you are planning to start the preparation now people who are planning to start preparation now you can hear this video people who are already done with mds and who are planning to go to army okay army corps okay you can or people who are done with bds and whose plan is to just crack army or you have a plan to crack both army as well as neat mds basing upon the situation you can go ahead so if you have such plans and come to the category 3 people who just want to qualify the exam okay because they have some xyz plans after the exam but it is mandatory that everyone has to qualify the exam to pick mds from any any of these categories okay so if you want to qualify the exam and come into the category 4 people who has service quota okay who has service quota in their respective states they need to clear the exam they need to qualify the exam they need to end up with something decent rank to get into the government uh, Uh, seats or to get into the uh, private a category or p category or the convener quota seats in the respect to states and people who want to end up with a decent rank that can be anything if you're already uh, going ahead with the preparation the decent rank can be 500 below or 300 below or less than that and if you are half away into the preparation maybe you can keep 1000 as a target if you want to at to start the preparation maybe you can keep 3000 below as a target with which you can end up with extraordinary clinical departments in deemed colleges and private colleges may not be government seats okay you can end up with such things or the last category of students i want to talk about people who have special quota reservations okay st or sc or physically handicapped or any of these reservations or if you have a creamy reservation obc or whatever it is like okay so if you are about to start so this video is exclusively for you it is well organized and well planned schedule with a decent number of mock exams and lots of condensed refined filtered material with which you can easily perform well in the examination and end up with a very very decent score and with a decent rank so let's jump into the contents Uh, first of all i want to just give a brief idea about the blueprint of the neat so because if you are going or planning to prepare for neat okay so first of all you should know what is happening in the neat question paper so neat question paper is basically 240 questions okay equally distributed so so according to the blueprint so they are going to tell it's a balanced question paper and this is this is being split into part a and part b so it's being split into part a and part b and the most important thing is part a is more of an a basics and part e is more of an a clinicals and according to most of the previous stoppers part b is more of an a scoring whereas part a you need to perform well so i'll tell you what is in detail so basically it's a balanced question paper so i want every one of you to have a balanced preparation so balanced question paper requires a balanced prep the most important thing is neat is going to have a negative marking how much negative marking is minus 1/4 it means every right answer you're going to get plus 4 marks and every wrong answer you will get minus 1 okay i'm just uh, telling a uh, a uh, uh, just as you go as you want to go ahead with the preparation so it's better you know it in the last uh, like probably neat has started in the year 2017 
okay official need so 2017 18 19 20 21 and 22 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so totally 6 years of need has done until the highest register score is around in and around 200 so out of the topper in this 6 examination the top score that is being registered for 240 right options is in and around 200 it is moving around 195 202 in the last few years okay so keeping in this mind i can openly tell even a topper Topper in this last six years also have lost 40 MCQs. So start with a positive note. Start with a positive note. Don't don't always keep targets too heavy. Come, let's keep small targets. Try to achieve them. Go with a positive note. Go with a positive one. Keep still more targets. So this is how you need to move from one level to other level in this left or 50 days to achieve a better rank and a score. So as as already said like it is divided into part a and part b so jumping into part a part a is going to be 100 marks and each is going to carry four so you're going to have 400 scoring in part a and out of which general anatomy including embryology and histology is going to be 14 your anatomy will touch somewhere around 10 and your embryo and histo are going to be two and two followed by histo and biochemistry is going to carry 14 so it's physio is going to be seven and biochemistry is going to be seven then comes your dental anatomy, dental histology is going to be 14. That is your DA, DH. So DA is going to be 7 and DH is going to be 7. Followed by micro and path. So they are going to carry 7, 7 each. Coming to pharmacology, general pharmacology is going to carry 7 marks. Whereas dental related pharmacology that includes your local anesthesia, general anesthesia, your emergency drugs and whatever the drugs that are used in dentistry and the treatment plans related to the drugs in dentistry, they are going to carry 7 and general pharmacology exclusively is going to carry 7. General pharmacology includes your other drugs, the drugs which are used in GIT, drugs which are used in CVS, CNS, ANS, renal, all, all other stuff. Coming to medicine and surgery are going to carry the top score each of 15 each. So this is the rough, rough blueprint of part A, which is going to be 100 MCQs. Coming to part B, which is going to be 140. Dental materials is going to carry 14. Oral path is going to carry 7. And oral microbiology is going to carry 7. Oral medicine is going to carry 7. And oral radiology is going to carry 7. Pedo and preventary. Pedodontics exclusively is going to carry 7. Preventive dentistry which is basically a part of community and your operative dentistry and your pedo is going to carry 7. Ortho is going to carry 14. Perio is going to carry 14. Prosto, including your crown and bridge and implants, is going to carry 14. Endo is 7. Conservative is 7. Oral surgery is 14. And public health dentistry is 14. So on a, on a range, like most of the mentors, uh, okay, they split the subjects or sometimes they give... Uh, more more uh, uh, scoring I mean like more marks or more questions from a particular subjects that is basically there will be many questions in the examinations which are integrated means integrated means combined with other subjects so such combination one combination I can list out is oral path oral microbiology oral medicine and radiology is one important combination where you will get 30 MCQs for sure and followed by coming to uh, the part of oral surgery Combined with uh, your general surgery is going to carry somewhere around 30. So these are very important. General medicine with general pathology and microbiology and with pharmacology and with physiology is one more combination which is tough and it's going to carry more marks. So these are three uh, extraordinary combinations where more than half, it's almost like more than 60% of your question paper will move around this particular combination. Means out of 240, uh, it will carry like this combination, particular combination is going to carry 140 MCQs. Okay, so that's what like most of the paper setters or most of the mentors, they're going to ask you to do this particular combination first. Okay, so if you, I mean like mode of preparation is completely over which I'm going to share my plan and my ideology but it's not mandatory that you have to follow this particular plan but there are a few others they, they are, they'll ask you to do uh, these subjects first and they ask you to, to do these subjects repeatedly my plan is as following so i have divided the entire schedule into five modules okay each module is going to carry uh, a group of subjects which are more often integrated to each other and you can read them combinedly 
and the knowledge sharing will be very very easy and i have followed rule of nine here okay in splitting the days so basically nine days for each module where you are going to cover a group of subjects which are going to carry an equal distribution of marks in the examination so this is how i have divided module one module two module three module four okay so so this is going to turn around like 36 days covering four modules and followed by a four days of revision for each and every model so this turns around 40 plus the 10 days for your rest of the stuff so basically this 14 days is your module 5 module 5 and rest of them are four modules this is how i have split it so if you jump in, in detail into each type of mo each module and uh, you just want to know what are the things that are covered in each module so module one i'm going to, i'm planning to cover endo and followed by operative dentistry followed by prosthetics followed by dental materials okay so this is basically uh, more of an a restorative replacementary module so most of your endo operative prosthe and dm are going to come apart from that i want you to finish dental anatomy dental histology and few areas of uh, general medicine pharma physiology so general medicine pharma physiology will 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 try to do in every module because that is the toughest one and where you need you require a multiple rounds of revision so phase one of this uh, general medicine pharma physiology means few systems we are going to do in module one coming to module two module two is more often related to oral medicine radiology oral pathology most of these are integrated to each other your general pathology your microbiology your forensic odontology again phase two of general medicine pharma physiology we are going to do here jumping into module three okay the module three more often a surgical module okay so where we are going to cover oral surgery general surgery general anatomy plus general embryology general histology okay so with majority of your general medicine pharma physiology that is your phase three will be done here so then jumping into module four we'll do biochemistry we'll do community we'll do perio we'll do pedo and ortho in combination okay and uh, followed by uh, we are going to do the last phase of general medicine pharma and physiology that is a fourth phase followed by coming to module five which is 14 days so we are going to revise we are going to do repeats we are going to do as many grand examinations as possible basing upon your limitations so in this particular uh, plan of mds conquer we are planning to provide you 25 gts okay and followed by we have a plan of providing you uh, previous year question papers probably from 2000 uh, 2011 to 2022 okay so this is what they are basically included in this particular test series or particular plan so basing upon your ability and basing upon your comfort and basing upon your time limitations because there may be few people who are having a decent commitment that they are ready to work more than 10 12 hours per day for this upcoming 12 day, uh, upcoming 50 days but there may be few uh, maybe like uh, people who are done with mds they need to take care of their consultations and their respect to things they may have xyz stuff okay such a people like basing upon your convenience and everything you can interact personally with the mentor talk with the mentor and get a priority checklist okay that is mandatory to do and you can proceed with that so this is what the 14 days plan of module 5 which includes uh, as many exams as possible both repeats as well as grand examinations has to be done coming to the checklist of mds conquer checklist mandatory checklist that can be done in this few days is first is the quick revision videos okay quick revision videos whatever the quick revision videos okay available on the website for that particular subject has to be done second one quick notes is whatever the notes is that are given by the mentor given by the team uh, in the in the descriptive part you have to do the quick notes because there are high chances that the questions will be coming on the concepts which are discussed in this quick revision videos and quick notes the third important thing you will have as many 
activities as possible okay so you'll have regular activities so most of these activities will be on our regular whatsapp registered group so uh, activities followed by sometimes we are going to take some live sessions so this activities has to be done thoroughly because most of the concepts what we discuss uh, in the activities are very very important from the examination point of view the fourth one is of course uh, you need to do repeats repeatedly okay so that for that you can follow a hard copy a book or you can follow the website where the repeats repeats questions are available the next and four most important things are very very important those are yellow papers so we have a series of yellow papers okay so they will be opened according to the schedule and will be given to you so where high yielding mcqs and the concepts are being discussed so you'll have a question paper and you will have a recorded live session on it live session you will have a recorded video on it so where high yielding concepts high yielding uh, questions high yielding diagrams high yielding case based things which were given in the last few years and which are very very important from the examination point of view in the active part of reading okay so what is active part of reading is most of us we read but it is very inactive or passive form of reading what is happening in this yellow series yellow papers is very important is mentor is going to actively discuss the concepts okay so whenever you have an active mode of reading so you no need to spend more time to understand the class because it is an active phase you will learn directly when the class is going on so yellow papers will be available uh, for every subject you will have one or two papers basing upon the depth and intensity of the uh, paper in, in the blueprint so you have an yellow papers which you have to do followed by of course you have to give as many grand examinations as possible and the last but not the least is regular regular interaction with the mentor you need to talk with the mentors you need to interact with the mentors find out your areas weak areas interact with them find a solution with them start implementing uh, them in your in your grand examinations and the final goal is to end up with a good rank and a better better scoring okay so this is all the mandatory checklist that you have to do for mds conquer so finally i want every one of you who are planning to start or who are planning to restart or who want to be aggressive so this is a peak time last 50 days i always uh, always tell the last 50 days or or the day once once your notification is out and your day is confirmed the leftover days are something called as the golden period of your preparation so now you are in the golden period of the preparation and it's all your your play like how well you play how smart you play how hard you play the result will be on march 31st 2023 so these are the previous uh, best rank holders from team mds conquer okay and followed by so with this i mean like with this you can you can directly register uh, on the mds conquer uh, where you can get access to a uh, few uh, the free, free content and uh, we are planning to conduct one or two national mock examinations of course those notifications will be dropped on our instagram page as well as on the youtube okay so you can be part of that you can register uh, with this you can scan this and register and you can get access to those uh, national uh, mock examinations uh, probably in the month of february we will we'll update you at the exact dates and followed by if you want to know the detailed plans of 2023 or 2024 you can just scan this you can you can scan this then register again uh, you can open and you can get to know about the details or if you want to directly uh, come in contact with me so this is the number or you can directly scan uh, this particular qr code get access to the mentors you can interact decide talk